Previously on Sodi Showdown. After much deliberation and no hard feelings, my first nominee is Parker. For my second nominee, Steve. I don't know what else, I don't know what to do. I think I'm going home. What is, what is going on out there? What is happening? What in the world? What is going on? I have no idea what's gonna happen next. House guests, let's all gather. I have some news. I know things got a little crazy just there. Um, I just received word from the producers of how we're gonna move forward with this. Dude, she went crazy. Yeah. So as we all know, Parker has decided not to return to the Sodi Shack showdown. And since I am head of household, it is my responsibility to put up another house guest up for eviction in place of Parker. I hate to do this, but Jamie, will you take a seat next to Steve? Oh my gosh. That was the ultimate Jamie Jamie I didn't even have a chance to fight for my life in this house. It's completely unfair. I still don't understand what Jared's doing at all this week. Like, why am I on the block? And then he goes after Jamie. None of this is making any sense. He's gonna be a target of mine pretty soon. I think it worked out perfectly that Parker left because she's a little bit of a head case. And everything went perfectly that I put Jamie up because that just solidifies that Steve is going home this week. One of our teammates, JB, just got on the block. I don't know what to do. What do we do? You know, I was really worried at first that I was gonna be put on the block. Nah! I just gotta ask, what's your plan right now? What do you mean? Get people out of the Like, who are you trying to get out? We're trying to get out the good competitors. So you and Jamie have won a lot of competitions, so we just put it up for the universe to decide. You're saying we, is that all of us decided this? So do like you two have anything to say about this? Yes. We don't like you very much. So I just wanted to make sure that we're all on the same page. Are you guys planning on keeping me? Are we still, you know, go team girls? It's a really good choice, because Dad, he's a really good competitor, and so are you. But we're on a team, that's the thing. Okay. Yeah, and, and we have to um, get to that. You want me to stay in the house so I have your vote? What about you, Peyton? I don't know. I think really so. All right, guys, it is time for the elimination ceremony. Um, the, time, the time's ready. Time's up. Take your time, Rose. You gotta make a tough decision. Do it right. As outgoing head of household, I will only vote in the event of a tie. Before we vote, each nominee will have a chance to plead their case. Go ahead, ladies first. Um, 
I just want to say that I've really enjoyed my time in this house and I feel like the way I have been nominated didn't give me a chance to really fight for my life and so I would like that chance um, to continue on um, and earn your guys' trust. So please vote to keep me. Girls, I am legitimately the only chance you have to get any of the boys out of this game. If you vote me to stay, you have a chance to win. If you vote me to leave, you are guaranteed to lose the game. All right, let the voting begin. Um, this is really hard, but I have to evict Jamie. Shout out to my mom and dad. I love you. I vote to evict Jamie. I vote to evict Steve. I vote to evict Steve. I vote Mom. All right, all the votes are in. Once I say the evicted house guest's name, they must say their goodbyes and leave the Sodi Shack immediately. With a vote of three to two, Jamie, you are evicted from the Sodi Shack. Jamie out because um, if I were to vote out Steve, they're they're trying to vote out Steve because he's the biggest, like he's the person that would most likely win. So if I would have voted out Steve, he um, the boys would come after me and the girls. So that's why I chose Jamie because if I were to um, get J Jamie out, then the keep on trying to get Steve out so I don't lose. I'm just so confused. So there's way more people than I that I did not know were not loyal. The numbers don't make sense in my head, but based on everyone's reaction, no one's happy I'm here. So it's time for me to take this game over. It's that time again for another HOH competition where someone else will take reign of the house. Who's ready to play claw your way to the top? Now everyone head on down to the Sodi claw machine. Well, that didn't go as planned, but um, Steve did say to convince the girls was that there's no way that could, they could beat us. But that's still gonna happen. We yeah. can still beat them. Yeah, pretty easily. So this is the chance for us to prove that they chose wrong. We have to win this head of household. Are we down? And we got a replacement. I think it very well could have been Derek. Yeah, honestly. I don't trust him as far as I can throw him, which is not very far. <laughs> so, <laughs> we have to stick out. We have to win some head of the house. Yes. We do down. 2.0. 2. 2.0. 2. 2. This is the point? point. Who's ready to play? Claw your way to the top. As outgoing head of household, I cannot compete in this challenge. There are 20 stuffed animals in the Sodi claw machine. Each Sodi house guest We'll have a turn picking one stuffed animal. There is a number on each stuffed animal. The house guest with the highest number is the new head of household. All right, here I go. You got it, babe. You got it. Get something good. Not too good. Oh no! Come on, drop it, drop it. Oh. Yes. I got eight. All right, I just need to get higher than an eight. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Jump. 
Okay, go look for it. What is it? I got seven. Peyton is still in the lead. Blakey just took the lead with that number. Oh, here goes nothing. Let's see, come on. Oh, that's spot on. If I've ever seen spot on, that is spot on. Oh. Yeah. 17. Are you kidding? 17, baby! Derek just narrowly took the lead with 17. Come on, Steven. That purple one. Come on. Oh my gosh. He missed it. No, oh, he got it. He got that it. Spot on, Steven. I'm perfect on this one. Come in. I got 13. Yes. Derek retains the lead, and Steve, you're the last one to play. Corner one's a tough one. Come on, baby, be big. Get two. Oh. Yay! Come on, baby, be big. Be big. Low number. This is gonna be. Three. <laughs> Let's go, baby! That was an easy challenge. To think about how many 24 hours I've done in an arcade. I mean, come on. I knew I was going to win from the very beginning. Three? Really? Congratulations, Derek. You are the new head of household. Because that just solidifies. Because that just solidifies. Solidifies. <laughs>